Did you know that the documentary everyone is talking about was actually from a news story that happened several years ago, and it's only now that Netflix released it to the world? In recent days, people are talking about a series that has surprised the public. It is a real-life documentary, where it shows the story of several women who were swindled by a man who pretended to be a multimillionaire in the diamond industry. This man not only stole millions of dollars from his victims, but with his ingenious method he also managed to make hundreds of women fall in love with him through the famous Tinder app. Tinder is an application to find a partner that was created in 2011, and has become very popular because many decide to find their true love through this app. And although its focus is on interpersonal relationships, it has also been the scene of a scandal related to large swindle. This month saw the release of the documentary The Tinder Swindler. This documentary shows how this man gets into women's lives after meeting them on Tinder and they end up handing over a lot of money, which some estimate in the millions. For example one of them, handed over to the swindler about $200,000. But who is this man and what are the details and secrets that do not appear in the documentary? Who was the mysterious woman who pretended to be his ex-wife and especially who was the little girl who appeared in the documentary, as his daughter? That's why today, I'm going to talk about 5 Secrets You Didn't Know About The Tinder Swindler But first don't forget to subscribe to this channel and activate the notification bell so you'll be among the first to see our content. The first thing you need to know is that this famous swindle happened on the biggest dating app in the world called Tinder. This app is one of the five most famous apps in the world, and its users by paying a monthly fee aim to meet people. There are already more than 3 million users since 2014. Well, the documentary talks about how a supposedly millionaire man managed to captivate and steal millions of dollars by deceiving hundreds of women through the application. But there are important details that didn't come out in the documentary and that's what we want to talk to you about today. Number 5. This character uses several names and to date some of them are known. Among the names used by this famous swindler are Mordecai Nissim Tapiro, Michael Bilton, Avram Levy, and David Sharon. Recall that in the documentary they visited the place where he was born and even his mother said that she had not communicated with him for years. Changing his name made it easier for him to move around and continue swindling people all over the world. Although his biggest swindles were in Europe it is not ruled out that he also has outstanding debts with justice in the United States. Number 4. The real Lev Leviev does exist. In the documentary we can see how this man pretended to be the son of a multi-millionaire magnate of the diamond industry. This was completely false, but what the documentary does not say is that the famous company LLD Diamonds does exist, and is completely real. This man was pretending to be one of the nine children of Lev Leviev, the diamond founder and billionaire. Known as the, the King of Diamonds, Lev Leviev owns an integrated diamond company with mines in places like South Africa and also has a boutique. Lev Leviev is the majority shareholder of Africa Israel Investments, a publicly traded real estate and construction company. When he was only 15 years old he fled with his family from his homeland and moved to Israel, where he began his career as a lowly apprentice in a diamond polishing plant which would later give him the skills needed to amass his vast fortune. He currently has a fortune of more than $1 billion. So far he has not commented on the documentary and it is not known if he is aware of everything that has happened. Number 3. How did you start your career as a swindler? Simon Leviev was born in Bnei Brak, a town east of Tel Aviv, with the name Shimon Hayat, but later changed it. At the age of 20, Hayat stole checks from a family in Kiryat Ono, that money he used to buy a Porsche and take flying lessons in Haifa. He also swindled a fellow student by convincing him to invest in a clothing business that turned out to be a lie. In 2011 he was formally charged with theft, forgery and fraud, but fled to Finland before trial. That's when he started his modus operandi on Tinder and other dating apps. 
In 2018 Simon Leviev began to be wanted by the governments of Israel, Germany, Sweden, England, Norway, and Denmark for the crime of fraud and in July 2019 he was arrested in Greece for attempting to travel on a fake passport. And when questioned about the swindles on Tinder the man denied everything. Number 2. What does Simon Leviev say about the documentary and what is his defense related to all these accusations? This is what he said. I have the right to choose any name I want, I never introduced myself as anyone's son, but people use their imagination. Maybe their hearts were broken during the process. I never took a penny from them, these women had fun in my company, they traveled and met the world with my money. So incredibly this character would appear to be able to get away with continuing to rip people off. In the end, Simon Leviev was convicted of theft, fraud and forgery of documents in Israel and although his sentence was 15 months, he only spent 5 months in prison for good behavior. He is currently 31 years old and is free. Number 1. Does Simon Leviev really have a daughter? Recall that the documentary showed a little girl supposedly the daughter of this man and a woman who the documentary said was her mother. Not much was said about this woman but later in the documentary we realized that the woman was one of the victims of this man in previous years. So it was very confusing to know that this woman was with these people helping him. Many started their theories which none are confirmed. But some say that it could be that the woman ended up really in love with this man and that the man managed to return to her, and she accepted him and forgave him knowing how he really is. Others say that the daughter could be Simon's and that is why she helps him in the swindles so she can have a better life with her daughter. There are many details we don't know about this story, but little by little we are finding out. This man's official Instagram account was shut down by the company, but before the account was closed he was able to post a message talking about the Netflix series and saying he would comment on it soon. After talking about the series he had his account shut down immediately. What will happen to this man and what will his future be? Will he finish his swindle or will he continue to swindle in other ways? Leave your opinion in the comment box. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends. Bye!